The Minister of Public Utilities and WASA have launched an urgent effort to assist residents of Richard and Scott Streets in San Fernando after a sewer main erupted, leaving many homes under flood waters with a stench permeating the area. Residents say the problem began two days ago and quickly grew, forcing motorists to drive with their windows up and leaving residents marooned in their homes. 94-year-old pensioner Mrs. Noel says the problem first surfaced four years ago and caused her and many other residents great distress. Now she says this time around it's Worse. Yesterday morning, I hearing water. I said, what is this when I look? I see water coming in here again. Well, it's sewer water, it stink. Well, all now, I'm sick, I'm feeling sick. I can't eat because the thing's smelling. The pension affairs, she may have to discard all her foodstuff and even appliances because of the sewer water. She says she is fed up. I was 90 years when the first one happened, and now again 94. How am I to live with this thing? But just more months later, Public Utilities Minister Emmanuel George, along with WASA CEO and other executives, arrived. He says the reoccurrence of this problem in the area means that there may need to be an examination of all major sewer lines around the country. It sends a signal that we will have to look at uh, changing all some of these lines because of their age and the fact that a lot of them will now be corroded. Uh, this collapse here, we will try to repair as quickly as possible. Uh, we estimate, my, my information is that uh, the estimated time will be with three days, uh, so that um, we should be through with this work by Wednesday. However, the minister says compensation to residents has not been looked at just yet, but he is promising to help with the cleanup effort. In fact, we have, we have planned to pump some of the water out of the, the yards of some of the people who are affected. And they are affected because they are, they are in a low area when compared to, where the, to, the, to um, how the sewage flows. So they are affected. We will pump it out and um, we will try to do some disinfecting and thing of their premises. By late Sunday, Wasser Cruz began working to fix the problem. For CNC3, I'm Melissa Williams.